Now that we know what M represents, let's take a look at what B represents. I realize I also didn't go over the questions in our first video. However, these questions are the same as the first video's questions, but instead of B, we looked at M. So our questions on the other page was, what does M represent and how do we find M? Now we're gonna talk about B, which is our Y-intercept or initial value. Let's talk about what B rep how do we find B, actually. So, when we're looking at a table, it's pretty simple to try to figure out what the y-intercept is. All you are doing is trying to find the point where x is equal to zero. This is your y-intercept. So looking at a table, you're simply looking to see when x is zero, what the y-value is. So on this problem, our y-intercept is at zero comma five. Simple. Same thing when you're looking at a point. You are looking for the point where x is equal to zero. So if you have a couple of ordered pairs, you are simply looking at each x value and trying to see which one is equal to zero. That is your y-intercept. Now, looking at it on a graph is pretty simple as well but you can't let yourself get confused. On a graph, the y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. It is the, also the point where x is equal to zero, like we just said. So, looking at our graph. When we cross the y-axis, the one that goes up and down, this line crosses at the point zero comma five. We notice that at this point, x is equal to zero. This is also the point where that line crosses the y-axis. So I know that the point zero, five is my y-intercept. So what does B represent in the problem situation? Well, the initial value or the y-intercept represents the point where the independent variable which is x, is equal to zero. We've already said that the y-intercept is when x is zero, so we're just rewriting that as independent variable is equal to zero. In a real-world problem, it's the beginning or the start of the function. For example, in our example right here, our y-intercept is at zero, five, meaning that before any hours have passed, we have, or I have, five dollars. So, in the example above, the y-intercept represents how much money I initially had, which was $5.